What's up guys, my name is Michael and welcome to the iOS 13.2 preview. So Apple just released iOS 13.2, it is now in the beta stages. In this video, I wanna show you all the new features that you can expect to see on your iPhone in just a few weeks here when Apple releases the final version of iOS 13.2. So let's go ahead and jump in and check out what's new. So the first new feature is Apple has now enabled Deep Fusion on the iPhone 11 models, which pretty much is an AI enhanced photography method that the iPhone does without even telling you that it's doing it. So if you open up the camera app on iOS 13.2, you won't see anything new. There's no new toggles. The iPhone just does this in the background and enhances your photos automatically. It does this based on lighting, so it is not always enabled. Now, I wanna give you a before and after shot, but unfortunately I only have one iPhone and I updated this iPhone to iOS 13.2. 13.2 so I can't give you a before shot but I do have the next best thing which is Twitter so this shot here from a photographer Tyler Stallman he is a very uh, a very good photographer I'll zoom in here on this photo uh, you can just see the detail on the face around the glasses is crazy the iPhone 11 Pro is already a fantastic camera and now this deep fusion AI photography is uh, really taking this one step higher and just making the iPhone now the king of sharpness so I actually wasn't expecting to see this much more detail detail uh, with just a software update, but it looks like Apple is doing uh, so much behind the scenes uh, to make these photos a lot more sharp. He also compared it to the iPhone XR, as you can see here, so not as uh, fair of a comparison, but the detail in this sweater is crazy. As you can see, there's pretty much no detail and it's super fuzzy on the left, and the photo on the right is extremely sharp. I don't know how I could go back to a worse camera uh, after using this for a few weeks. I'm expecting the iPhone 11 Pro now with Deep Fusion to be a fantastic fantastic camera. So I'm super excited to start using this. So uh, Deep Fusion, this is obviously the biggest change in iOS 13.2, but of course there are a lot more changes. So if we go inside settings into Siri and search, a, a setting has actually been brought back that was removed in iOS 13. I think this was uh, here in the beta stages of iOS 13, but Apple removed it for the final release, which is announce messages with Siri. So if you're wearing your AirPods and you get a text message, you can enable this to have Siri read your messages as they come in. And then you can respond without Siri asking a verification uh, before you go ahead and send that. So with one sentence, you can go ahead and respond to a text message if you're wearing your AirPods. So when setting a wallpaper now in iOS 13.2, there is a little bit more of a clarification when you click the button on the bottom. So before it wouldn't say anything, but now when you click this button at the bottom, it says perspective zoom off or on. So a little bit of a nice tweak there. Next up is a change that I really like. So inside music, if you click on this button at the bottom right here, which allows you to turn on shuffle and repeat, if you get to this list here and then you pull down, you can now see a list of your listening history. And this was not here before in iOS 13. So this is a completely brand new feature. And if you want to know what song you just listened to, for example, if you're listening to radio or something, you can go in this and it'll show you a, a very long history of all the songs you've listened to. Uh, as you can see, I'm a very big Green Day fan here. But yeah, it shows, uh, I think, pretty far back too of all the songs that you've listened to for that day. So a pretty cool feature that they've added to iOS 13.2. So another very small change inside the music app is a little tweak to the way the shuffle and repeat buttons look now. So now in iOS 13.2, as you can see here, they are a lot more bolder. If you go on your phone right now on iOS 13.1 or earlier and you look at these buttons, they will not be as filled in as they are here. So they look a little bit more bold on iOS 13.2. One more feature inside the music app, inside the now playing screen, if you are in dark mode, the shade of black is actually a few shades lighter than it was before. So in iOS 13.2, the controls contrast a little bit easier against the background as it is a little bit more gray than black. When your apps are in wiggle mode and you want to rearrange them, the done button on the top right has a bit more contrast now. It doesn't really blend into the wallpaper. Instead, it's just a regular shade of gray. You'll also notice when setting the stock iOS 13 wallpapers that the colors from the wallpapers are a lot more vibrant now. Apparently this is the way they were supposed to be from day one, but there was a glitch, uh, more of a bug if you will, when iOS 13 launched that had these wallpapers being really dull. And when you update to iOS 13.2, the wallpapers are gonna look a lot more vibrant. And apparently this is how they were supposed to look the entire time. So a very nice change here. It makes the operating system look a lot more colorful. Inside of Control Center on the brightness slider and the volume slider, the little glyph icons that are here have been made a lot larger, so a little bit more clarification as to what slider you are using at the current moment. If you wanna edit your widgets now and you click on the edit button on the bottom, as you can see, the icons when compared to earlier versions of iOS 13 are a lot larger now. I don't know why the size of these icons were so much smaller in the previous versions of iOS 13, but it looks like these icons have been made a lot larger in iOS 13.2, so a nice change there. 
So probably my favorite addition in iOS 13.2. It is so small, but Apple has added a new little fade away animation whenever you're changing the volume. So with iOS 13, Apple changed the volume HUD and made it on the left side of your screen. And now they keep adding little refinements to it that just make it so much nicer. So I'll click the volume button. And as you can see, as the screen goes away, it has more of a fade animation. I'll do it once again. So as you can see, it kind of uh, shrinks and then kind of zips out super fast. I don't know how to describe it, but Apple adds these these very small changes uh, that just make it look so much nicer and make using the iPhone just feel so much more elegant. So those little tiny attention to detail moments uh, really make iOS stand apart from the competitor. So that was my preview of iOS 13.2. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe, click the like button, and also click the bell icon so you get notified every time I upload a new video. My name is Michael. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.